Welcome to Code with Vinay. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a horizontal scrolling text effect in Java in text mode. The output will look like this. Sometimes this type of an effect is also known as a marquee or a ticker. If you have ever wanted to add some dynamic flair to your console or terminal applications, horizontal scrolling text is a great way to do it. And with a few lines of Java code, you can achieve this effect easily. So let's get started and dive into the code. I'll walk you through each step so that even if you are new to Java programming, you'll be able to follow along. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of how to create horizontal scrolling text in Java and its variations. You will be able to add this cool effect to your own projects. In order to achieve the ticker effect, we need to have understanding of three things. Number one, how to introduce delays so that we can display text in slow motion. Number two, how to display text over the current text without clearing the screen and avoiding flickering. And number three, how to actually do basic string manipulation to move the characters from the beginning of the string to the end of the string in order to create the ticker effect. Now let us discuss these three issues one by one. First, we'll see how we can introduce delay in a program. So for that, what I'll do is I'll take a counter variable, initialize it to one, and then we'll take an infinite loop. I'll say while true. And then this loop is going to run forever. Within the loop, I'll say system.out.println. I'll display the value of the counter and then I'll increase the value. And if I run this program right now, we'll see that the values will be displayed in at a very fast rate. Let's run this. So as you can see, the numbers are scrolling at a very high rate and we want to delay this display. So what we'll do now is I'm going to stop the program and then we'll call the function sleep over here. Now the sleep function is inside the third class and we'll say sleep and as an argument we'll pass the delay and the delay is in milliseconds. So if I say 500 over here, computer is going to wait once it reaches this line for half a second. 500 millisecond is half second. And now you'll notice that there is a red line below this indicating an error. So actually what happens is that the sleep method may throw interrupted exception. And for that, either we need to have a try block to handle this exception, or we can simply tell the computer that we are aware that it might throw an exception by saying throws interrupted exception. And now if I run this program again, see what happens. The numbers will still be displayed, but now there will be a delay of half a second between each print statement. So this is how we introduce a delay in a program. Now we'll see how to display text over the current text without clearing the screen and changing the line. And to achieve that, we'll use something known as an escape sequence. So we'll go to the line containing the print statement. That is, we'll go over here and we'll say slash r and then I'll say plus. So what is happening over here is that slash r stands for carriage return. So it will move the cursor to the beginning of the current line. And since we don't want to change the line, we'll remove the ln from over here. Please understand once you change the line and you say slash r, computer will change to the beginning of the new line rather than the last line. So we have to remove print ln, we have to make it print. And now we are doing, what we are doing is, we are first moving to the beginning of the line and then we are displaying the counter and then we are increasing the value of the counter. So let's run this program again. And if I run this program again, see what happens. The numbers are changing and the display is not scrolling. So this is how we take care of the second issue how to display the text at the same place. And this will keep on going till we break the loop. So I'll press Control C to break the loop. I would like to point out here that proper terminal emulation is required for carriage return to work. Some integrated development environments like BlueJay are not able to handle escape sequences properly. So you might need to run this from a real terminal to get the desired effect. So we have seen how we can introduce a delay in a program and how to overwrite existing content. The only part left now is how to manipulate any given text so as to give the appearance of scrolling text. 
Now we'll modify this program to display the desired text instead of the counter value. But before that, we'll discuss the logic of scrolling text. So in this diagram, the orange box represents the terminal screen, the width of which is stored in the variable width. And though it is possible to get the width programmatically, but that will require us to use an external library. And to keep things simple, instead of reading the values, what we'll do is we'll assume width to be something. Let's say the width is 60. We'll store the string which we want to use as a ticker in a variable by the name of str. And this green arrow represents the direction of the movement of the text. Now, what we need to do is we need to fill up the preceding portion of the string by spaces. So initially, we'll have this number of spaces followed by the string. And after the delay, what we'll do is we'll extract the first space and then we'll move it towards the end. Again, we'll print it. Then again, after a delay, whatever the next thing is, that will go at the back and this will give the impression of the scrolling text. Now, as you can see from the diagram, number of spaces is equal to the width minus the length of the string. That is, the spaces will be equal to width minus str dot length. Now let us move back to the coding part. So let us code the last part now. So we don't need the counter variable. Instead, we'll take a string variable over here. I'll say string str is equal to, and this is supposed to hold the string which we want to move. We can enter it from the keyboard also, but to reduce the clutter and focus on the main part, what I'll do, I'll assign it directly. So I'll say code with winner. And then let's say to increase the length. So this is the string. Then we need one variable for the width. So let's call it width. And say the width is 60. Then we need to calculate the number of spaces which are to be added at the beginning. And for that, I'll take a variable. We'll call it spaces. And as discussed, that will be equal to width minus str dot length and then we have to form the line consisting of the spaces plus the string so i'll say string line is equal to initially nothing then we'll take a loop for the spaces time that is i'll say for int i is equal to one i is less than equal to spaces i plus plus and then within the loop, there will be only one line and that will be line plus is equal to a single space. So this will add the appropriate number of spaces in the beginning. And then we'll say line plus is equal to str. So our string is formed. Then we will have to modify the loop as well. Obviously, we don't want to print the counter now. Counter does not exist also. So what we'll do, we'll remove this counter and instead we'll say we want to display the line. The delay of 500 milliseconds is okay. And then once this is done, we'll modify the line for the next iteration. That is, I'll say that line is equal to, we'll take everything from the second character till the end. The indexing of string begins from zero. So we'll say line dot substring so the second character will be the character at index one and then we'll add the first character that is character at the index position zero at the end that is plus line dot char at zero and i think this should do the job let's save the program and then let's run it So there we are, we have our moving text and once it goes past the left, left edge, it will again come from the right edge.
this is now coming from the other side you may try to improve this program further by changing the color of the foreground and the background text you can find the link of my video on changing the color of the text in the terminal window in the description below this brings us to the end of this video see you in the next video till then happy coding your feedback is valuable to me i want to make sure that my videos are clear and helpful you can follow me on the internet on any one or all of these channels